Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today we're going to be talking about Unraveler by Frances Hardinge, which has become my favourite read of the year so far. Let's begin. This is the first book this year that I've rated 5 stars and not had a single doubt about that rating. I finally dipped into reading Frances Hardinge this year after years of having that on my shelves and I regret that I didn't start sooner. I received an advanced ebook copy of this from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review, but I already pre-ordered a copy of this and I'll be rereading it the second it arrives. In a world where anyone can create a life-destroying curse, Cullen has the power to unravel them. He doesn't fully understand his talent, but it helps those transform maliciously, including Nettle, who recovered from entrapment in bird form and is now his constant companion and closest ally. But Cullen has also been cursed, and unless he and Nettle can remove his curse, Cullen is in danger of unraveling everything and everyone around him. First love, the characters. I have so much love for every single person who appeared on the page. I genuinely believe that Hardinge is one of the greatest fantasy authors I've read when it comes to giving her characters realistic flaws and allowing them to acknowledge and work through them. Both of the main characters are uniquely flawed. Cullen is utterly angry and stubborn and brilliantly brave. In summary, he's the light and one of my favourite characters of the year. He has anger issues which result in any woven thing he comes into contact with disintegrating. The book's plot is largely driven by his actions or inactions and is a chain of reaction of all the decisions he's made as he's explored his power and the people he's affected by using it. Nettle is the exact opposite of Callan. She is gentle and caring and a lot of her emotions are internalised and I adore her with my entire heart. I love how the author explores the lasting trauma of Nettle's curse and how her softness and kindness is a conscious choice as a result of it. Also, I love that she never quite adjusts to her human life after being in bird form for so many years and the impact this has on the relationship with one of her brothers who has chosen to remain as a bird. The side characters are also unique, well developed and interesting no matter what amount of time they spend on page. Everyone feels special and relevant to the story whether or not they have a larger role in the plot. It was a treat to follow all of them throughout the story. Second love, the setting. I love this kind of fantasy because it's both character centric and world centric and the supporting cast of characters was essential to creating this new world by emphasising that there are as many strange and weird people as there are normal folk. The world is sprawling and lush and full of detailed care. The author's writing is vivid and the wooden descriptions owned me. I felt so drawn in. The world was also so deeply and thoroughly explored that, as much as I would love another book or short story spin-off, I'm not left desperate for more in the most complimentary way possible. I was satisfied that this book is a standalone. Third love, the weirdness. I've only read a handful of the author's books so far, but I can tell that this is weird even by her standards. It's a complicated web of a tale with more depth and more layers than I can explain in one review, and it was a delight to be tangled up in it. It's one of those books where not a single element of it is grounded in reality, yet somehow it just works. In fact, it's so weird that it straight up defies reality and exists in its own realm of weirdness. I need more of these books I can only describe as believable nonsense in my life. Fourth love, there is no romance. I wasn't expecting any from what I've experienced from my past hardened reads, but there was still a slight fear when I saw opposite gender main characters. But this book really went and said, let's talk about friendship <laughs> and focus on that with its whole heart. This sweetness was a wonderful contrast to bloodier and more gruesome moments. This is one of those books that I could gush about forever. The style, the writing, the beautiful twisted woods aesthetic, the characters who are all interesting and dynamic and complex and leap off the page. Everything is a masterpiece. I enjoyed reading this so, so much. In summary, I'm in love with Frances Hardinge and you should be too. I gave this book five stars on Goodreads and that is the full five stars. This book is perfect to me. That's what I have to say about Unraveler for now, but I'm sure that I'm going to mention it countless times throughout the rest of the year. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.